Oh, g'day everyone, it's Wesley here from the National Day of Prayer and Fasting. You can see the city of Brisbane in the background here. So why am I filming a video for you? Because I wanna make sure that you've got an invitation to come to the Zoom call tonight with the executive team of the National Day of Prayer and Fasting. Tonight is very special as we'll be telling you about the launch of Australia Praise. This is not something that has come up just recently. It's something that we've seriously been praying through and considering for the past 12 months. We have been so amazed and excited about what God has done through the National Day of Prayer and Fasting. I was there 11 years ago when we were in a Senate room at Australian Parliament House where we, a group of us, about 30 of us, I think just knelt and prayed and said, God, what's on your heart for this nation? And we felt it was time to call the nation to prayer. Back then we thought it was just a one-off event. Who <laughs> knew that 11 years later, we would still be holding these events and seeing them spread to over 60 different venues this year. But there's still more to do. We have this whisper from God saying, come, 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 there's still more to go. So tonight we wanna to honor the past. We wanna honor Warwick Marsh and Alison Marsh and all they've done to help lead such this movement that started from an idea to seeing the level of prayer in our nation change quite dramatically. We do sense that God is calling us to another level of change, another level of going higher in Him, listening to Him. The whole scripture of 2 Chronicles 7 14, if my people will humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then I'll hear from heaven and heal their land. Boy, does our land need healing. You know, that humbling thing, laying down our agendas. You know, God's been speaking to me lately about the fact that when I go to a prayer meeting, I need to go with laying down all my hopes, all my agendas, all my dreams about what could possibly happen. Why? Because I, <laughs> our God's ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. It's time for us to go to that next level of listening clearly much more to the voice of God and implementing what's on his heart to do. Bless you guys. I look forward to seeing you tonight. Got a number of guests coming on. You'll meet all the executive of the National Day of Prayer Fasting. Time to ask questions. A time of preparing one's heart for what's next. Bless you guys.